Hi everyone, Concealed Tactics here. I know you're wondering what is that big black thing on the screen. It is a gun safe. And it is just a nice little safe that I keep in the car. And this is one of those added expenses we were talking about. Um, when you start concealing carry, something that you may not think about. I told you I'm a firm believer in keeping a little bit extra security if you ever have to do lock up your gun in the car or something like that. This is a nice little uh, a safe made by Gun Vault. Uh, this is pretty much their logo here. Um, this is an, just an advertisement for them. There's lots of manufacturers out there. This is just the one I happen to pick up. Um, in this style, they have two of them. One, I believe, is like nine and a half inches by eight and a half inches, and the other one's like eight and a half by eight and a half. Um, for the price difference of about three dollars, you can get the slightly bigger one. Um, I put uh, there's a bullet in there, yes, that's just so I could keep it open and access it one hand. It's a great little piece. It's got uh, this memory foam in there, and it fits. Uh, a, you can get away with a full size gun. Um, this is the Glock 26 here, and this is safety checked and everything. I just want to put it in there so you have a little bit of comparison size for the video. And even though I have the uh, laser sight on there, which sticks out and protrude, protrudes quite a bit, as long as you don't try to ram it down at the other end. It, uh, it it closes up pretty good in there. And this one just has the key. So you can see it seals it. And what it does do, it does has, has a nice little slot here, if you can see this slot, that a cable that they supply you with goes through that I didn't want to unwrap from my, uh, my seat um, because I have it anchored around the bottom of my seat and it's just a pain to get in there. But it's uh, one of those cables like uh, you've seen for bike uh, you know, when you lock up your bike, it's a thick cable with a rubberized coating, hard to cut, and it slides in there. And then what you shut the case, and, and leaves, you can see it leaves a little hole there for the cable. So they can't yank it out and pull it out of your car or whatnot. Now, it uh, you can use it for in the home or whatever. But I wanted you to see the, the safe. Um, they make a variety of different safes. Um, if you see that little logo they have here, they have some that are biometrics and that's why they have that because you can actually put your hand in there and uh, it'll read your fingerprints some of them they have that are just the codes that old you can like a little uh, combination you press down the combinations and they work and um, a variety of things um, but I wanted you to see the safe I want you to be aware that this is one of those additional costs that you may encounter and may want to do when you're in have when you when you go to concealed carry um, depending on how many vehicles you have, you may want a few. Um, they also have ones that are called the Micro Vault, Nano Vaults. There's ones that will are slightly bigger that work in your home that will have that, and they have a little drop-down door that will come over, and you can access your weapon quickly, uh, which are very nice. Um, I'm actually working on getting one of those because I have another safe similar to this. Just the reason I don't you know, I don't want this one in my house is because it's not a very quick access, but it's great for the car. And this baby is, uh, it's not light at all. I mean, it is, uh, I want to say it probably weighs a good two and a half pounds. So it's not something you're just going to run out the door with and pick up with one hand real quickly. Um, but this is another one of those things that, again, additional costs that you may incur when you start concealing carry. This isn't a very long video, but it's an, something I think you should all have. And I want you to see one just for reference and also this is a good reference for some people because it also let you uh, maybe judge the size of the gun uh, I, like I said a full size will fill up this whole cavity and you could put your extra mag in there uh, such as that if it's in or your magazine in there if you have to take it out I don't have the magazine in this one just because I didn't uh, put it back in after I cleared it but you can see you can put an extra mag in there, which I usually do. I'll put my extra magazine in there. I'll have my gun in there. And this, and it fits in there, and, and it secures up pretty nice. Like I say, you got to squeeze a little bit, but the memory foam seals up the, uh, seals up and holds it very well. And it's great for in the car. So nothing extravagant, not a real long video here, but something I think you should be aware about. And you can see, you can see the foam bounces right back into place there. Works very nice. Something to think about if you're going to conceal and carry. Please 
consider putting an extra safe or something in there just in case children or thieves get in to steal your car. Makes it a little bit harder for them to get, get into it. Thanks, and this is Concealed Tactics, out. Have a good day.